All right, Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS North Carolina camp back with another video. Before we go any further, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Hashem. Yahweh. Yahweh. Hashem. Yahweh. The Bible is the Apostle and a great millstone for teaching us the one percent truth according to the Bible well and peace and blessing so if elect of the nation of Israel take through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. I'm the brother Isaiah. Brother Shema Wah. And we're coming back at you with the Lord's willing edifying lesson on what uh, the title of the lesson is Wash Your Mind from Pollution. You know, and um uh, before we get the lesson, I want to get a couple of definitions on pollution. You know, because that's what this world promotes, pollution. You know, this says the presence in our introduction into the environment of a substance or thing that has harmful or poisonous effect. So the things that are introduced into this society, you know, they have a harmful f effect on your mind. You know, the way these people think, you know, that's why this Roe v. Roe versus Wade thing was so such a big controversy. You see what I mean? This whole, uh, luckily we're at the end of the sixth month, right? You, you got the sixth month of the year, right? According to Esau's calendar, where they promote this uh you know these uh these rain these uh rainbow agendas you see and these things are pollution to our people's minds you know it says to look at the word pollute it says to the which is a verb to defile so this world this this world the the, the way this world's thinking is all set up to defile you so-called negroes latinos and native americans to uh to separate you from your power, because sin is what separates us from Yahweh by Shema Shai. But through the sacrifice of our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, He has come as a Savior for our sins. You know, now we have this grace period, you know, wherein we stand to, to, to give it our all. You know, to stand for the truth, to stand for something, to stand for the laws of Yahweh by Shema Shai, and to follow them. You know, to the best of our abilities, to have faith in the Lord and to trust in Him, you know. So we're taking this opportunities that we have to, to clean ourselves up, to wash ourselves, and it's all through the Word. These, these, you know, the instructions that are written here in the Holy Bible. You got it, bro. Uh, quick precept. Yep. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Mm-hmm. Because it is polluted. It shall spoil you even with a sword destruction. Yeah, uh, it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. You know, so this word, this world, you know, that we are constantly living in, you know, is not our rest. America, Babylon the Great, this is not where the Israelites, you know, get old and die. You know, now is the time to rise up, you know. To, 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 to rise to the occasion of being an Israelite, you know, what it means to be an Israelite. And in order for that to happen, you know, get St. John 6 and 63, you have to be quickened, you know, by the Holy Spirit. You have to be quickened by this word, you know, you see. And if you don't, if you're not quickened, you know, Scripture say you shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You know, and when the Lord comes back to judge the dead, which are these other nations, you are going to be found... In their camp, you're going to be found on their side of the line, you know? You're going to be on their team, and the Lord's going to judge you right along with them. This is uh, St. John, chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. Yep. The word... Oh. Now you got it. I'm the sorry, words, brother. Come, come. It says, the word that I speak unto you... They are spirit and they are life. Yeah, so the spirit, you know, are these words that Yahweh Shema Shah is speaking unto us, and they are life. <clears throat> you see, that, that they are what gives us, us life. You know, the things that make us alive. That's what the word quicken means, to make alive. So this word is the spirit that quickeneth, 
You know, it's the word, it's the, it's the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai that has made us alive. You know, this way of life. Get St. John uh, 14, 6. St. John chapter 14, verse 6. It says, Yahweh Shah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Yes, the, the Lord's the way. You know, that way we're supposed to live. You know, he was the example. You know, he's showing us the path. You know how we're supposed to live, how we're supposed to con how we're supposed to uh, conduct ourselves. He said he's the truth, and the script tells you in Saint John seventeen seventeen, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. So this is the Lord. You know, is is sanctifying us. You know, making us holy, setting us apart. You know, you know, cleanses. You know, when you set something apart, you know, while the rest is getting filthy, you know, you clean it up. You know, he, he's washing us. He's washing our minds. You know, he's putting the spirit on us to do good, you know, and to follow after his ways. You see, it says and he's the life. So in Yahweh Shai is life, you know, and we walk in Yahweh Shai, we will have life. Meaning we do the things, you know, that he has commanded us to do, you know, which are, is to have faith, to fear him and to love him. You see? You got it. All right. Verse 7. If, if you have known me, you should have known my father also. And from henceforth, ye know him and have known and have slacked it. It says, and, hen, and from henceforth, ye have, I mean, ye know him and have known and have seen me and have seen him slacking. That's right, that's right, because Yahweh Shah is the express image of the Heavenly Father. You see, <clears throat> you can get that Romans. All right. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so be not conformed. I'm going to read that in the NLT real quick. This is um Romans 12 and 2 in the NLT. Don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world. And we went into that, you know, because the behaviors and, and customs of this world pollute you. You know, <laughs> they destroy your mind. They, 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 they pervert your way of thinking. They make it perverse, you know, opposite... To, way, to the ways that Yahweh Shema Shai wants you to walk. It says, don't copy the behaviors and custom of this world, but let God transform you into a person by changing the way you think. But let Yahweh transfer you into a new person by changing the way you think. You see? <laughs> by changing. And how is he going to do that? By renewing your mind, you know? By that, by this refresher, can you get that in Isaiah? I believe it's twenty-eight and sixteen. You know, if I'm not All mistaken, right. I'm gonna finish this out in NLT. It says, "Then you will learn to know God's will for you." And and you know, so we're learning that we're we're being proved that you may prove what is that good. You know, and accept it in the perfect will of the Most High. You know, we're we're. We're learning, you know, we're going through our tests, we're going through our fiery trials, we're going through our baptism to be baptized, you know, we're going through our baptism, you see, oh, before you get that, can you get uh, Acts 3, 19, but finishing out in Romans 12 and 2 in the NLT, then you will learn to know God's will, which is pleasing, which is good and pleasing and perfect, you see, so the will of the Heavenly Father for us is to repent, you know, for the elect to wake up, you know, and, and, to, and to not perish, you know, amongst those who are going to be destroyed. But first you got to repent. First you got to take heed to the words of Yahweh Shema Shah. You got it, bro.
This is Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. That's right. So repent ye therefore, and be uh, converted, that your sins, you know, we need our sins, you know, to be blotted out. <clears throat> you know, to, 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 to be no more in remembrance at the end of the day. We need that mercy uh, from the Lord. <clears throat> you know, and that's what we need. That's why the Lord is telling us to repent and to make that necessary change to for us to receive salvation. And how you can make how, how how do you know you know how do you do that by by washing your mind from the from the feel from the pollution to to meddle no more in the ways of of this world you know but to be fully you know baptized you know by this truth be being submerged in that water you know being covered by this truth you see you get uh Isaiah twenty eight and it's verse twelve. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter twenty eight verse twelve. To whom he yet, to whom he said, <clears throat> this. It's like it. To whom he said, this is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest. Mm -hmm. And this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. That's right. So this th this is the rest. This is the refreshing. Yet. A majority of our people, two thirds of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are here in America are not hearing it. You know, they're not taking heed to what the scriptures say. They're not taking heed to the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You see, and that's why, you know, when it's all said and done, they're 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 gonna perish. You know, because their their minds are corrupt. You know, they have uh done wickedly, you know. They're, they're in the spirit of Esau Edom. You know, the fool have said in his heart that there is no God. You know, and that's the people, that's our the mindset of our people, that there is no God. There's not going to be any judgment. You know, if, if there is a God, he's, he's whatever I say he is. And he's a God of love. You know, he's a God that loves everything. He loves everything I do. You know, because their God is do as thou wilt. You know, and, 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 and that's Satanism. And their mindset, what whatever they do, whatever they will to do, is good in the eyes of their God. You see what I mean? And that's how they have painted the heavenly Father. But we what we understand the Lord is a God that executes righteous judgment in all the earth, and that's why you know, and we, it, you know that's why we taking this uh, grace period seriously. You know, to continue to wash our minds from this pollution, the ways of thinking. I got a quick one real quick. This is um James chapter uh, 1. I'm going to go straight to the point. Verse 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness. You see, this world is filthy. And superfluity of naughtiness. You know, you look at that word superfluity. You know, uh, uh, what, what, what's, what's the superfluity? <laughs> The superfluity, look it up in the blue letter, it says the residue remains, you know, the things that remain in you after your conversion, you know, to being a Christian, which a Christ, the Christians, the Jews were first called Christian in Antioch, I think that's Acts 11, maybe 22, brothers going to learn about that in a while, but um, you can look it up on your own time, just type in Antioch and Jews, you know, but um... <clears throat> What what's a Jew? A follower of the anointed. You know what I mean? The follower of the Amashiach. You know, the Messiah. You know, so you 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 know, we, we constantly gotta be repenting. We constantly gotta be getting renewed in the sphere of our minds. You know, because there's still that little left in us that the Lord has to purge out, and the Lord's gonna continue to purge out. You know, the impurities out of us, you know, by this water. You know, also, how else do you get, um, how else do you wash yourself through things? By fire. You know, you see? You got it, bro. Uh, this is, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't finish this. Uh, James 121, 
and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. You see, this this word is able to save you. You know, this this word was able this word, the words of the Heavenly Father, the words of Yahweh by Shema Shah are able to save you from the pollution and the filth of this world. You see? The disease of this world. You got it, bro. Uh, another quick precept. Mm-hmm. This is uh second this is uh first John chapter two, verse fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Mm -hmm. I got two precepts real quick. Was that it? I'm sorry. Was that it, bro? Or did you want to read a little bit more? Uh, that was pretty much it. Come. This is a First John chapter 5, verse 19. And we know that we are of Yahweh Shema Shai in the whole world, life, and wickedness. So we, we know that, the, that we are of Yahweh Shema Shai. You see? We know these things. The Spirit of the Lord is on us. And we are of the Lord. We are of Him. We are of His kind. You know, men of the Lord. Followers of the Lord. You see? Let me see if I can look something up real quick. In the whole world, the rest of the world is lying in wickedness. The the the, the word of is the, def the definition of expressing the relationship between a part and a whole. You know, expressing the relationship between a scale and a measure of value. So we're we're of the Lord. You know that of ex, you know we are of the Most High. That's expressing the relationship between us and the Heavenly Father. You know, which through Him we are made whole. You see, and the rest of the world is lying in wickedness. You know. That uh, superfluity of naughtiness, that filthiness, that pollution. You see, this is um, real quick. Second, First Corinthians seven and thirty one, and that they may, and they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. That word fashion, you know, is really you know the form, the form of this world, the the way to this world. Are going to pass away you know and though scriptures say all things that are lawful are not expedient you know because really here you know things that are lawful are made to destroy you at the end of the day especially here in babylon you know but if you know where there's no law you know ultimately we're not sinning against yah by shema shine we got to understand that we are not abusing, you know, there's no, there's no sin against eating chicken wings all day. You know, there's no sin against, you know, getting a five gallon, you know, not, well, you know, and say that, you know, ice cream all day, eating junk food. All, there's no sin against those things, you know, but those things are not, you know, beneficial to your spirit, you know, so we really... You know, we, we get the things that we should focus on getting things that we need in this world. You know, you know, uh, you know, healthy meal, you know, our daily bread. And we should really be focused on feeding our spirit, you know, more than anything. The, the ways of this world, ain't no, there's no, you know, you can go to the bar and have a drink here and there. You know what I mean? You can do these things. We have our liberties. 
But we understand that if we abuse these liberties, we're going to be destroyed with the world. And we understand that this world is going to pass away. You see? You got um, any more precepts? Uh, I got your Ephesians. Come on, you got it, bro. Uh, it's Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Sanctify and cleanse what? The church, the body of believers. We're being sanctified. In our, we're being cleansed in our minds. You see, they, and we're being, you know, we're being sanctified and cleansed in our minds by the word, by the word washing us, by the words of Yahweh, by Shai, uh, cleaning, 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 cleaning us up. <laughs> you see, nourishing us. You know, it's all through the words of Yahweh, by Shai. You know, and not only the word, the truth. You, you gotta know the truth. You know what I mean? You gotta know the correct doctrine. Um, real quick, definition of washing, it says the action of washing oneself. It says, um, basically the action of washing oneself, and what are we washing? We're washing our minds, you know, by the word. That was pretty much it. Um, you got the next one, bro? Uh, this is uh, St. John chapter 15, verse 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. That's right. Now are you clean through the word that has spoken unto you? <laughs> you know what I mean? This is Red Leather speaking Yahweh Shai. So he, he's telling you. Now you are clean. Now you are cleansed. Not only by you, you know. <laughs> Read it again now. Uh, this is uh, St. John chapter 5 verse 3. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Yep, um, real quick, I got the definition of clean, and I got one precept, clean in the online etymology, it's an adjective, free from dirt or filth, that's, you see, it says, unmixed with foreign or external, ex extraneous matters, so we're not, we're not mixed, <laughs> With the form, with the foreign matters, the ways of these heathens, we're free from the dirt of this world, the filth. It says morally pure, chaste, meaning uh, you know, chaste versions, pure, innocent. You see, we're oh, we're in, we're made innocent through the words of Yah by Shema Shai. You see, this is all through the the words of the Lord. You know, clean, pure, uh, a clear, pure. It says, um, real quick, James one twenty two, but be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. You see, so you gotta be a doer of the words of Yah by Shema Shah, and you being a doer of the word, that's how you're made clean to the words that Yah by Shema Shah has spoken on to us. You know, that's how you're made clean by being a doer of the word and not just a hearer only. By actually taking action. This is a real quick. This is a Philippians. Chapter 4. Uh, verse 9. It says. Those things which you have both learned. And received. And heard. And seen in me. Do. And the God of peace. Shall be with you. You know. So those things that you, you know. That. The Lord is teaching us, and we're observing to do, observing. You know, we we, we got to do those things so we can actually be clean. You know, so we can actually be pure, innocent in the eyes of Yah by Shema Shai. You know, Cause it's it don't matter if we think we're clean in our eyes. We got to be clean. You know, according to what the Lord's standard is. I got a a quick precept. This is a uh, Psalms one nineteen and one. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. You see, so it's about walking in the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shema Shah. You know, and that's what makes you uh, blessed. You know, and undefiled. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're you're undefiled. You know, because you're following the ways of the Lord. You're walking after His commandments. Blessed are they that keep His testimonies. You see, which are the prophecies of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. 
You know, so we're keeping these things in our minds, constantly reminding us and knowing that Babylon the Great, you know, the end for Babylon is coming. It says, and seek him with the whole heart. We're seeking out by Shema Shai with our whole heart, with all our strength, where our, our whole intent is to serve Yahweh by Shema Shai in sincerity and truth. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Iniquity is sin upon sin. We're going to sin, of course. You know, but to do iniquity, you know, is something that we can't do. Sin upon sin. You know, adding sin to sin without fearing. Yahweh by Shema Shai. It says, they also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Thou... Thou has commanded us to keep thy precept diligently, the precepts of the Lord, his commandments. And we're diligently, you know, keeping these ways. It says, Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. And we need Yahweh Shemel Shai, you know, to keep the Spirit on us to do these things. To seal our instructions, you know, to continue to walk down this straight and narrow path. It says, I will praise thee with uprightness of heart, meaning your mind. When I have learned thy righteous judgments, I will keep thy statutes. Oh, forsake me not utterly. And that's what we asking Yahweh by Shema Shah to do. You know, to cast us not away and, and not to forsake us. With these, with these other uh, bonehead jakes that are about to be destroyed. Verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? You know how all together is a, a, is, is a young man going to cleanse his way. Cleanse his mind. You know from, from the filth and the pollution of this world. It says by taking heed thereto according to thy word. By taking heed. You know if I give you instructions to the near shopping mall. You hear the instructions, but if you follow those instructions, that is the example of you taking heed to those instructions. You know, and, and, and in the Lord's words are the instructions for everlasting life. Verse 10, it says, With my whole heart I have, I have, have I sought thee. Oh, let me not wonder from thy commandments. You know, and that's what we are asking Yahweh by Shema Shai to do. It says, This. It, um, I'm going to read two more verses. It says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. See, these words are constantly hid in our minds, you know? Constantly used as a defense, you know, from the, from the filth and the pollution of this world. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statues, you know, and the things that you learn. <laughs> You know, you ought to do them, you know, for your benefit, for your gain. You know, let's get um the Isaiah 16, and then we'll close out on that Matthews. Unless you had a precept, you can bring your precept out first. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 1 and 16. It says, wash you, make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. That's right. Says, um, so wash you, you know, make you clean. You know, stop doing evil. Stop doing wickedness. Repent. Go ahead. It says, learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow it says come come now and let us reason together mm -hmm. that's right you know uh, read that verse again but when it said um the fatherless uh, it says judge the fatherless plead for the widow yes yeah, so learn to do well learn to do you know learn to do righteous judgments <laughs> you know what I mean Show yourself, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, show yourself right in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai by doing the things that he's commanded us to do towards our people, you know, because Jacob is the fireless, the widow, you know, uh, you know, the oppressed. That's that's Israel. Tell you that lamentations, you know.
So that's what it's about. Showing uh seeking we're seeking righteous judgment, you know? Seeking the things that we're supposed to be doing and how we're supposed to be conducting ourselves amongst our people. Go ahead. And other nations, you know, we're using that wisdom. Go ahead. Come now and let us reason together, said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though, be, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. That mercy is going to come. You see? And that's what we need. We need that mercy. But you have to take heed to the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai and trust in the Lord with all thine heart to receive that mercy. Go ahead. If you be willing and obedient, you should eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you should be devoured with the sword for the mouth of Yahweh by Shema Shai has spoken it. That's right. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. You know, either you're going to be willing and obedient, you know, and you're going to see, you know, uh, this word, this wisdom, this knowledge, which is going to be able to save you, which is going to be able to lead you back, you know, to uh, to the kingdom, of, you know, which is going to allow you to receive that everlasting kingdom. Are you going to be uh, refused and rebel? And when Yahusha comes back with the band of angels, you're going to be judged. You got it? This is uh, Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. I, if I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. That's right, that's right. So we're being baptized. See how Isha is baptizing us. We're going through the baptism. Not only are we given this wisdom to learn how to good work, the knowledge, right? Not only we are given this knowledge, what's wisdom? The, the, the applying of the knowledge, you know, the application wherein we apply the knowledge to, to our day to day lives. And you know, if we apply this knowledge, we show forth, you know, we're, we're proven, you know, we are tried to be men. You know, tried and shown to be men of understanding. You see? And that's all through this baptism, this fiery trial. Yahweh Shai leading us down this, this straight and narrow path. Wherein on the other side of peril, the other side of distress, mornings, you know, is the kingdom of heaven. And you know, that's, that's, that's what we're marching on down to. And Lord's willing, you know, we, we continue to endure until the end, we're trying to escape that pollution that's behind us, you know. And it's all through the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, if you don't got anything else, we're gonna close it out. Uh, uh, yeah, we close it out. Come on, come on. Well, Lord's willing, you are edified to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. We give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashim. Bahashim. Rukak Radash. Rukak Radash. I want to say the Yahweh Bahashim Shai for uh, sending down his Holy Spirit upon us to do this lesson. You know, Lord's willing that was edifying. Double honors to the Apostle and others, the great millstorm teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible rule well and peace and blessings to the of the nation of Israel. Next time we say Shalom. Shalom.